Right, they say they are the smallest cocktail bar in Nashville, and that makes for some big advantages. That's right. Bo is here, and he's the beverage director at Bay Six. Okay. Big question. <laughs> Why is being smaller better? So, I think what we've really lost in bars recently is that people don't go to talk to each other and have fun anymore. Um, in a small space like that, you you have to be a part of everybody else's conversation. You know, it's yeah. it's the worst place in the world for a first date, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's amazing because you, you meet all these strangers. I met my girlfriend there, I met my best friend there. Um, I've helped people get jobs there. People have given each other jobs there. It's it's just, uh, it kind of forces this intimacy in this, in this close quarter. Cool. I yeah. really like that you said about 15 people, yeah. uh, max, inside, inside, a lot yeah. more outside. Yeah, yeah. And you guys, I also read that you guys do private classes if someone wants to host a class. So you guys yeah. do a lot of different private events, too. We try to, yeah. We, you know, we just want people to be able to come and enjoy the space. And it's such a, it's such a perfect spot for it because, I mean, and accidentally you can walk in there and all of a sudden it's your private bar. But if that's something you should want to happen, that can also be the case. <laughs> I think that's um, cool. This is East yeah. Nashville. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In that old car wash that's been redone. Yeah, yeah, so a renovated car wash, five restaurants, one cocktail bar, big old patio, um, you know, live music every Friday and Saturday. Uh, we've got happy hour every day from three to six. We, we try to do it all. I love it. Yes. Okay, and what are we doing today? We're yeah, making so, your top, your number one Yeah, bevy. yeah, so I, I live in the watermelon mines these days, right? <laughs> I, every single day we go in there and we have to juice fresh watermelon for our frozen drinks and uh, for this cocktail ooh. specifically. Um, so this one's called the Staring Contest. Um, think like a watermelon margarita, right? It's just super refreshing. Everything about it is just made to make watermelon taste more like watermelon and taste better than you remember. All right. I did nice. know really quickly before you get in, some of your, your flavors, yeah. peach, honey, Greek yogurt, lavender, white cocoa, corn. I mean, this sounds good. Yeah, wow. yeah. So, you know, it kind of goes back into that. You, you have this small space. So, I mean, like, we're not paying that much for rent. So, <laughs> so, you pour so you it can, into the ingredients. Well, so you can really take risks that you normally wouldn't be able to take whenever you're trying to, you know, hit your bottom line for these yeah. massive spaces. Yeah, good point. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get to it. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I so, detoured. Oh, That's no, okay. all as well. So, I mean, I'll say right off the bat, I did forget to bring my shaker tin, so we're going to kind of see how I make cocktails. Improvise. <laughs> yeah. Anything's a shaker tin if you want it to be. There we go. Um, so, first, we start with a little bit of salt on the outside. This is just, you know, we always use like half, so you can, you know, Use it if you want, don't use it if you don't want mm -hmm. to, but it always reminds me of the beach, you know, when you like get out of the water and Aww. you eat a little piece of uh, watermelon yes. and like <laughs> accidentally some salt gets on it, you know? Yeah. Very um, true. You got the ice. Marissa, are you a salt on the rim kind of gal with no. your mom? No. Me neither. I, I'm uh, a sugar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the more sugar, the better. I'm a bit of a recent convert. Yeah. You know, I, uh, no. I didn't used to want it, but nowadays I just want salt on everything. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. And is this the watermelon? Here? It is. So we're making our own watermelon cordial. So what we're doing is we're juicing these watermelons. Um, we're adding a little bit of uh, sugar and citric acid. And what that allows us to do is kind of use this as uh, like a homemade sour mix, right? Cool. So we're adding all of our sugar and we're adding all of the acidity in the cocktail in one spot. And what that means is we can get a whole lot more watermelon in That's it. That's neat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. We put that in. The watermelon. And you make mocktails as well for Absolutely. people like me uh, or people who aren't drinking at the time. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, everybody at Base 6 is, I, I would say we're a pretty responsible staff. A lot, none of us really drink too much. Um, so, <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we like to have fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, we try to give our, our non alcoholic section as much. Uh, about just as much as focus uh, as we would for Wonderful. any regular cocktail. Uh, so what I'm adding right now is uh, it's a bitter orange liqueur. Mm. Uh, what that does is, you know, in a, any other margarita, you would kind of expect something like Cointreau or Triple Sec, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, what we get whenever we use something that's bitter uh, is that we can pull down this, the relative sweetness of the entire cocktail, and that mm. means that we can use things that would normally be a little bit cloying and overpowering uh, in ways that are, you know, a little bit more balanced. Mm, very um, good. And what's this? So this is an aloe liqueur. It's just a cheeky little Ooh. splash right in there just to kind of wake everything up. Yeah. Um, smell it. Oh, please do. It's, uh, it goes good Ooh, in everything. That smells yeah. good. Aloe whenever I was, uh, Whenever I was first learning how to bartend around 2015, you couldn't get away from that bottle. <laughs> I've never heard yeah. of it. Yeah, yes. me neither. They really, they really took their time. Uh, you know, they kind of, kind of fade away for a little bit, but... And we've got, oh, we, we have the Rocks, Terramana tequila. tequila. Yeah, this is for my friend Hope Owen. Hope you're watching, by <laughs> yeah. the way. If The Rock is watching, please call me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's All shake right. her on up. We've got a yeah. less than 45 seconds to go. Oh, God. <laughs> we believe in you. We Thank have faith. You. Okay, and you also serve something called a highball. Yeah, so highballs are a Japanese way of drinking where you're just kind of stretching liquor, right? Okay. So you're not really trying to mask the flavor of it. You're just trying to make it a little bit more palatable with your dinner. Yeah. Um, cocktails don't really... They don't really pair with, with dinner, right? I don't want to go get a steak and then have a watermelon margarita right. off the side. You know, I say um, go for it. Yeah, I mean, never... I'm not going to ever stop somebody <laughs> from living their truth. <laughs> oh, that looks But yeah, good. highballs are just super refreshing. They're super easy to drink. Um, and they're just a, a really nice way to pair with food. And, you know, something we always try to pay attention to at the bar with all the different cuisine that we have available is drinks that match. Oh, my gosh. Mm. This is yeah. absolutely right, lovely. Laura's got to oh, go. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. One last going. touch. One last touch. <laughs> Smack the mint. <laughs> you, yes, thank you. I give her a little squeeze, a little sneaky squeeze. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Um, Cheers. Thank you so yeah, much. Absolutely. You got to check it yeah. out. Um, basics. Nashville.com. They're yeah. fabulous, and find them on Instagram as well. They're right there in East Nashville, and ooh, ooh, delicious. Their <laughs> cocktails are delicious as well. There thank we you. go. Thank, thank you so much. much.